Hey guys, it's me, Liam from Border Busters, and today we are going to be drawing a Minecraft parrot. So the colors you'll need for this, it's quite a bit, so I got some a black uh, for the outline, some pink, a black, another black, just do like a pencil black to make it lighter, and a red, blue, and some sort of gray color. And that's pretty much all you need. Okay, so... We're going to take our black, uh, the Sharpie, or whatever you got. You can use a pencil. But we're just going to take that out. And we're just going to make a line up. Just like that. And we're going to make his little beak first. So now we're just going to go a diagonal line down. And just want to let you guys know, please make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah. So now we're just going to draw a line up. Just like that. Now we're going to draw another line up. Okay, so now we're going to draw kind of like this. I'm not, I don't think this is his eye. I'm pretty sure this is his, like, this is his mouth right here. I'm not sure. Now we're just going to draw a line across, kind of like that. Now we're going to draw a line up. Okay, so now we're going to draw another line, kind of a diagonal line up like that. And then we're kind of making his head right now, so we're going to draw another line like that. Now, we're going to draw a line up again and stop right about there. Now, we're just going to draw a square, but we're going to make it kind of diagonal. Make that go up and then kind of, you know, just make it like a basic square. And we'll, we could do this right now. So, now we're just going to draw kind of, uh, let me see. So, we could draw another line across like this, kind of a rectangle. This is kind of pixel, so it's a bit harder. So, then we're going to draw a line up. I believe this is his, like, feathers. And then we're going to draw another line up like that. And there we go. There's his kind of feathery part. And then we're going to take this part from right here. And we're just going to kind of make a line down. And we're going to connect that line from there. Okay, so now we're just going to draw a line. Stop right about here. Then we're going to draw a line up with this. And that's kind of his mouth part, I guess. And then, I guess we can um, draw a line kind of coming down right about here. It don't make it go down super far, just make it go down to right about there. Now we can make a line kind of coming up, up into the mouth and kind of fading into there. Then we're going to make a line coming up like this. And then we can make, oops, whoops, I kind of went too far, but we can make a line kind of coming right there and then we can draw the little eye so we're going to fill this one in with black and we're going to just kind of go like this and there's his kind of eye part right there okay so now we're just going to kind of make his body so we're just going to kind of come down like this i guess kind of like that and then we're going to go up and then we're going to go across. All right now we're going to go down. And then this is going to be super diagonal. So we're just going to go down. Don't match this line. So we're just going to go right up there. And then we're just going to do another super diagonal line like that. Now we're going to draw one of his wings. So this is going to be kind of behind him. So we're just going to take this kind of out and then in. Now we're going to go up. And then this part's a bit tricky. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a line down like that. This is going to be his wing. And then we're going to make kind of a like rectangle kind of in a way. So we're just going to go down. Right, like that. And then we're going to go down again. Oops, see, I accidentally went too far. So you just want to connect that kind of, this is going to be his his wing kind of and then we're just gonna kind of make like a little rectangle up here to make it a bit more 3d and I didn't mean to do that but so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make another leg we're gonna come down and we're gonna go up and then up again see mine's not the best and um, you know you just gotta have more practice like I need a bit more practice drawing I'm not the best at drawing like 
drawings like this. I'm better at sketching and stuff. But yeah, so we're just going to draw it down. And then we're going to make another line up. And then another line up. Then we're just going to draw this line down. Up. And then we're going to draw another diagonal. Like that. See, it's not perfect. But that's the joy of drawing. Is that when, when something messes up, you can always redo it. Right, so I'm just gonna kind of make since these are kind of lines that are coming out a bit, I'm just gonna kind of, you know, blend them in. Like, you know, see, like take this part and put it right there. And you guys don't have to do this if you didn't mess up right here. Right, nothing crazy, right? So now we'll just go up, and then we're gonna make his little tail. I guess he, I don't know what this thing is called. I think it's a tail. Um, then we're gonna go down, across. Then we're going to take one more line and put it right there. All right, there is the outline of our parrot. So now it is time to color. So this is probably one of the trickiest parts. So what we're going to do is we could start off with our red and just follow along, along with me. And I'm, you guys could color this in whatever you want. Like you could color in the different kinds of uh, parrots, uh, but I'm just going to do the red and yellow and blue one. So we're just going to kind of make this kind of dark, darkish right here, I guess. Kind of just kind of color it in a bit. So make this darker because that's the shade. And then make this lighter. So don't press down as hard with your pen or pencil. And then we're gonna make this one lighter too. But before you fill in all of these squares, we're going to leave one kind of gap right there. So leave this one white, fill this in, and then fill the rest in like that. Just like so. Okay, so now we're just going to fill this in, kind of the darker, so you guys can press down a bit harder. Just like that. I'm just gonna fill all this in. Right? Just like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our black and make the beak. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of like fill this in with a like a dark black. I'm saying pencil because if you use the marker, it will kind of just it won't look as good. So just fill it in, press down pretty hard with this part, and I'll let you know when you can go somewhat lighter. So we could go a bit lighter here not a whole lot but a bit still kind of go hard but you know kind of just do that I think this is part of the beak actually yeah just like that okay so this is where the very little pink part comes in I accidentally colored this part in but what we could do is we could kind of just fill that part in dark with pink, I guess. So this is kind of part of his face, and we're just gonna kind of fill that in with pink. I'm not sure why it is pink, but the cool thing about the pencils I have, they're called Prismacolors. See, this blended with the red, so it's fine, right? Uh, I recommend these pencils. Um, yeah, they're really good pencils to blend with. So we can just kinda, kinda just take this off with the red a bit, you know, kinda go dark. And then we're going to go light here. And if you accidentally color out, that's fine because this body part's going to be red. Okay, so now we're just going to draw this tiny little wing part right here. It kind of looks like he doesn't have a wing, but just from the, the perspective there, it's kind of supposed to be like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to color this in kind of a darker shade. Kinda just like that. See, I kind of have like a texture here because I didn't have like a flat space underneath me, but that's okay. Kind of is, it kind of suits this because it kind of has the, I guess you could say like the feathery texture, I guess in a way. So now what we're gonna do is I just, let's just kind of fade this in darker. I think it'll look a bit better like this. Um, because it kind of stand, stands out a bit more. 
so that's a bit better. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna going to this one's part. This part's gonna be kind of hard, so we're just gonna just kind of try your best to follow along. So we're gonna take a line out and then a line down, then another line out and then down and then in. Okay. So now we're gonna take our yellow. Then we're gonna go across and kind of follow these lines up and then in. Okay, so we're gonna fill this part in with yellow. Again, if you're doing like the blue or white parrots or whatever color parrots there are, you, you could just look at a drawing of these and kind of just copy the colors, but I'm doing the red ones. And the blue one doesn't have as much as detail as this one. But, so what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna fill this part in. Kind of like that. And then we're going to take the red and we're just going to kind of uh, fill this in a bit darker over here. Well, actually, maybe not a bit darker. You could just kind of just fill it in. Maybe a bit darker down here, kind of by the kind of by the legs and kind of by the wing right here. You can make it a bit darker. You know, add some nice shading to that. Kind of just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our yellow and again if you're doing this kind of bird just follow along with me. We're just going to take it and we're just going to kind of go down like that. And then we're going to take the tail and just kind of fill it in with the blue. Pink's rolling back. Here we go. Kind of just like that. And we are almost done. So all we need left is our gray for the legs. And this is, I'm pretty sure this is all on all the pairs. So just make sure you have this color for the legs. Um, and we're just going to go gray, just a light gray right here, and then we're going to go a bit darker. So now press down a bit harder. And there we go. There is our parrot. Um, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I hope you like this drawing. I really like it. Um. And again, just the more you draw, the better you'll get. Um, just real quick, I'm just gonna take this and kind of just, just like that. Now it's completed. Okay, so again, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I was wondering if you guys could watch my longer videos like my drawing or scratch videos. This will help me get monetized on YouTube and um, earn a bit of money from, from that. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching our maybe fourth live stream and I'll see you guys later. Bye.